At this moment, we have finished dealing with the reflections and this is pretty much the final outcome of the image when it comes to the shape of this. So we don't have the panel. It's huge difference. Uh, we sorted out the reflections. I believe they look in uh, quite natural and what's most important, they look clean. But of course, there might be a few more things to do on this image. And before I will move further to sorting out the light, I would like to create another layer. I will rename this into number uh, clean number three and why I'm doing this of course I could do it uh, a little bit earlier but I have missed some of the spots so before we move further uh, what I would do here I would uh, clean up all of the dirt that we have so clean up the dirt we have on the product it might be in a few different spots it can appear on the edges so there are small details and in many cases it's possible they would not be visible but it's good to have this one layer and uh, see these things for yourself. So first, I'm going to deal with some of this dust over here uh, that I have. And what's most important is dealing out with the edges. So as we cut out the product, and uh, not always we will have really nice edges. So over here, it looks absolutely perfect, this edge on the side, but on the bottom, as you can see, uh, we see it actually was sticking to the panel because we have this different color. So what I would do here with the clone stamp, I would try to blend this in softly. So I don't want to have strong and visible edge. And this is why I'm using clone stamp to blend this in. So it's not really like cleaning up. But I'm trying to cover up these bright spots over here. Not too difficult task. Uh, it might be difficult if uh, you didn't get used to working with the with the tablet. So this is why it's important to work with the tablet. And also, I believe on some of these other products over here, I might have a little bit too strong of the light. So as we removed the panel. Uh, we don't want the product to look like they were um, taped to the image, like they are moved from somewhere else, but we want to make sure that this image look like it was the part of it since the very beginning. So also here, uh, wherever you stick, I'm paying attention to these small uh, details and trying to blend them in. So I'm going to do this on uh, these other images. Not too big of the size when it comes to the brush because uh, when it will be too big the cross might be too big the the cross between the product and the background so we want to have its size maybe on to two pixels so we have it blended and let's have a look before after before after as you can see it's it's getting deeper into the background. So this is why I'm doing this. And over here, seems like this one we cut out quite deeply. So it actually looks uh, quite natural. So this is the thing I want you to pay attention before we move forward. And the other thing is, of course, pay attention to all of the dirt and dust that we have. So if there is a chance to making this a little bit better uh, before we move forward, for example, I can even use the clone stamp to blend this in painting, uh, painting softly, I can do it. So make sure uh, you will do it too. Some of the reflections like this one, they can stay, but um, sometimes if it bothers the eye, uh, we can, of course, remove this. For example, the one here from the distance before I thought it looks OK, but then from the distance, I think it doesn't look perfect. So also I'm going to cover this up. So now uh, let's move to the next step and we are going to talk about uh, a little bit more and difficult tasks. So we are going to do some dodge and burn on this image.